welcome back everyone today i will be demonstrating a very important topic in power system which is power factor improvement power factor improvement holds very significant factors in power transmissions and power utilizations because there are various losses and cost associated with low power factors that i will be demonstrating so that's why this power factor improvement is a very important task in power system and also this sort of calculation related to power factor improvement is very important in different job exams as well so today's experiment title power factor improvement in three phase system using static capacitors so these are the objectives of today's experiment we will study power factor and its effect we also study different power factor improvement techniques and among these techniques we will be using the static capacitors or capacitor banks so now the associated theories so first of all what is a power factor actually we know that power factor is the cosine of the angle between voltage and current so we can write cosine of phi here phi is the angle between voltage and current and we know that there could be lagging power factor or leading power factor whenever we have an inductive circuit and we know that in case of inductive circuit current lags behind the voltage that's why in case of inductive circuit we call it lagging power factor whereas in case of capacitive circuit we call them leading power factor or a leading circuits and this power factor also can be defined in terms of active power and reactive power and we know that power factor is basically active power over apparent power and there is a power triangle you probably know let's say this is the real power that is the active power and this is the reactive power q then this one this is called the apparent power so this will be p square plus q square so now uh, if we write power factor equal to then p square over so this should be just phi there is a mistake here i will correct it later so anyway so power factor p over so the formula correct formula uh, in below p square plus q square in denominator and on the numerator it should be only p now the disadvantage of lower power factor uh, or i can say why do we need power factor improvement so there are Paralyzed phenomena. First of all, if the power factor is low, then we need large KV rating of equipment. That means the equipments, let's say motors or generators or other equipments, this should be larger in size. Also, we need greater conductor size. That means the conductor diameter will be increased if the power factor is low to transmit same amount of power. And then there will large amount of copper losses and also the voltage regulation will be poor and also the system's capacity should be reduced so uh, i believe these are already been discussed in power system or other courses so i am not discussing uh, all these points but i am providing another supplementary materials so where you can read them uh, if you feel so now the power factor improvement equipment so uh, there are different techniques or equipments that we may use to increase the power factor so among this uh, static capacitors or capacitor banks is one of them and this is very important and we will be demonstrating this static capacitors method and also there are synchronous cap condenser uh, probably you know the another name of this is synchronous capacitors and this is basically the synchronous generators uh, whenever a synchronous generator is over excited it supplies reactive power then we can call it uh, you know the synchronous capacitors uh, i think you have already studied in machine courses or other courses and also uh, there are some phase advancers uh, that are used in uh, along with induction motors uh, because induction motors generally uh, very supply very lagging current generally take very lagging current that means uh, it is one of the main source of lagging power factor uh, now the power factor improvement using static capacitor so in most of our cases that means in most loads 
in our household or industrial are inductive loads let's say induction motors and other very large motors they are being employed in different industries and different sectors and also in our households there are you know ceiling fans and other table fans and other lighting loads they all take inductive current that means lagging current that's why the power factor is generally low so this is a typical scenario without power factor improvement so these are the uh, different types of loads and this is the voltage that are being supplied and this is the lagging current so if we draw the phasor diagram so this should be like this this is the v axis and since the current lags so this should be the i and in general without improving the power factor so this is the angle phi on between the v and i so cos phi on uh, should be our power factor without improvement and this should be you know very low so if we want to increase that power factor we need some sort of devices that supplies or that takes leading power factor leading current that means that supplies reactive power so one of these uh, equipments could be capacitor so if we apply a capacitor in parallel with the load then it will take leading current so how this occurs let's say we have used a capacitors and the current in this capacitors is ic and uh, in this load the previous current was just the i so now this i prime that means the current being supplied from this supply v so this i prime i can write i prime equal to i plus ic right now what is IC if I plot it in vector diagram so you know that capacitor is capacitor current is leading that means this angle should be plus 90 degree that means here IC leads V so this is the plot of IC and now this I prime is summation of I and IC so if you vectorically add those I and IC so let me clear this all first so if you add this i and i c vectorically then it will be just like this you know the vector addition so now uh, if you closely notice the angle between voltage and current reduced to phi 2 since the angle is reduced so obviously the power factor is improved because power factor equal to cause of that angle and whenever that angle reduced the power factor increases and you know the minimum angle is 0 degree in case of purely resistive circuit where the power factor is just 1 so that's why we need to use some sort of capacitors uh, with parallel in case of uh, power factor improvement using static capacitors and in three phase networks this can be a uh, two configuration either delta connection just like this or either y connection and remember we need to connect these uh, capacitors parallel with our three phase loads now the simulation that we will be uh, doing in simulating so this is the schematic that uh, i will be demonstrating whenever i will be demonstrating the simulation so if i uh, want to say a little bit again so this is the three phase supply and you know that uh, whenever uh, we uh, transmit power we use some sort of tra transformer to uh, generally step up transformer in case of uh, you know sending in and also in case of distribution we generally use the step down so let's say this is the step up transformer and then this power will be transmitted and this is a three phase vi measurement block that means this is basically sending this power but uh, using this block we can measure the voltage and current so this v a b c and i a b c these are the voltage and currents that are being measured using this three phase vi measurement block and using this v a b c and i a b c we are basically calculating the real power and reactive power that means we have used another block which is power so in this block we have calculated P and Q from that VABC and IABC. Then we are using those P and Q to calculate 
the power factor and also the real power and reactive power available in the system so here a max is used so this is basically 2 into 1 max that means we are combining these two signals uh, into one and here a go to block that means uh, this is basically send some signal so uh, associated with is go to block there should be a from block so here we have just sent the signal pq and here we have received it using the from block then this is shown here so if you don't want to use that go to block this is also fine then you need to just connect it just like this then it will be just shown in this view so another uh, calculation here uh, is done that is the power factor so let me show it let me clear all first so you know that the power factor uh, previously I have shown p over root over p square plus q square. So already we have got the p and q here. So now we need first p square. So if you notice here a product block is used and both input of this product block is the same here it is p so it will return you the p square and similarly the second one q so both of this block both of these inputs are q so it will return you q square then they are being added so here it is now p square plus q square then a square root is used so now the signal is p square plus q square so the denominator is already ready now uh, all we need the numerator that means just the p so we can connect this p if you notice here let me clear all okay let me erase something okay so if you notice closely this p here available so this is connected just like here in this divide block so now this results you the power factor that means in the denominator we have the p and in the sorry in the numerator we have the p and in the denominator we have a square root of p square plus q square so this result you the power factor so now the power factor is calculated and also a go to block is used and using that go to and from combination we have shown the power factor here so we will be observing this and also this is the load typical load and here a capacitor bank is used in parallel so i will be demonstrating this whenever i will be demonstrating this simulation so don't worry and the procedures and reports so here uh, in this report uh, i mentioned one thing that means uh, let's say if you want to calculate uh, if you want to have the power factor let's say 0.98 then how can you have that amount of power factor so uh, there are some associated calculations so now i will be demonstrating you the calculations so first of all uh, what have you got so in this circuit let's say this uh, three phase capacitor banks is not available so whenever this power factor improvement is not in effect then obviously uh, the default power factor will be available in this power factor and also the system power uh, real power and the reactive power will be available now uh, So let's say the system power factor that is PF1 is 0.6628 and the power that is real power is 4413 watt and the reactive power is 4986 watt. Now let's say if we want the power factor that is pf2 let's say you want it 0.9 and you know the calculation that is power factor equal to p over square root of v square plus q square so obviously this real power is uh, almost constant and all you need to vary this reactive power because that capacitor we will be using that to supply some amount of reactive power so that the power factor is increased that's why let's uh, use q as q prime that we need to have in the circuit to have a 0.9 power factor so obviously this p is available so if i write 0.9 equal to 4413 over 
square root of 4 4 on 3 square plus q prime square and then if you solve this simple equation then you will got q prime equal to Two on three seven what? So in the system you need this amount of Q prime. So now the difference. So if you uh, subtract from four nine eight six to two one three seven, it appears at around two eight four eight. So this is the you know the amount of uh, QC that should be specified in the capacitor block in this particular block that is the three phase capacitor bank this amount of reactive power should be specified so I have just showed you that uh, at around 2848 watt should be specified and I will be demonstrating the simulation uh, in MATLAB so in report uh, you need to show to have that 0.98 power factor hot amount of QC parameter that is the negative bar you should mention so that's till now uh, I will be demonstrating the simulation so stay with me thank you